These past few months, she's been so- Oh my god, he's so like- Realizing things. He is realizing what is going on. <laughs> Hey there, I'm Catherine. Welcome to my channel. Today we are watching part two or volume two of season four of Stranger Things. This is a four hour long extravaganza. <laughs> um, I watched the first part with my sister, but you guys have been asking for Stranger Things reactions, so here we are. If you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe. This is not my usual filming environment. I am pet slash house sitting for a friend right now, so maybe I will catch you with my regular setup next time. And um, we've got four hours of television ahead of us, so let's ride. This episode is called Papa, and it's an hour and 27 minutes long. Choose your fighter, CGI Young Eleven or CGI Baby from Twilight. I think it's so cool that Eleven made the upside down. Like that she did, right? That was implied and the Duffer brothers confirmed it. It very much reminds me of the whole prison world concept from the Vampire Diaries. Now hold on. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh right, oh shit. The way I watched this like three weeks ago and I already forgot what happened. Coronavirus! It's the COVID brain fog, y'all. This is such a problem. We don't even know what her favorite song is. I want you to tell Eleven. Is he sending her back with a message? Thanks for sending me a message. Unfortunately, you're very ugly and I will not be replying to you. <laughs> I keep forgetting that they're not actually together right now. <laughs> I'm gonna do like a synth music counter. Thought I lost you. Why does he look so good right now? I did lose you. You're the hero of Hawkins. Yeah, I always felt that'd be easier to like when I was dead. That's so Taylor Swift of him. I'm sorry, it's kind of funny that like a group of children took on one of these little demogorgons in the first season and right now it's like the entire Soviet army and they are struggling. <laughs> I eat danger for breakfast. Oh, what the fuck? This is like when they're, that law firm had that body harvesting farm in Angel. Mm-mm. Nor, nor, nor. Creepy. Creepy. What are you gonna do? Walk through Alaska and go home? What are they doing to my girl? Is she like in between dimensions right now? She looks like she's dressed for a Kanye West music video. She always needs you, Mike. I keep telling myself that, but I, I don't believe it. Oh. I mean, oh. she's special. Oh, oh. She's oh he's about to be like, me. you're special too. You're scared of losing her. Uh. Can I? Show you something? Oh no. Are we about to like break a record for how quickly into an episode I start crying? <laughs> oh! This is amazing. Did you paint this? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Uh... These past few months, she's been so. Oh my god, he's so like. Realizing things. He is realizing what is going on. <laughs> when you're different, you feel like a mistake. <sighs> You make her feel like she's not a mistake at all. Like she's better for being different. Oh my god. If she was mean to you or, or she seemed like she was pushing you away, it's probably just because she's scared of losing you, just like you're scared of losing her. Elle needs you, Mike. And she oh my will. god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. <sighs> We're twins. One thing that I really hate is I know people are still gonna watch this and be like, Oh, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that Will has a crush on Mike. When it so obviously does, because if a heterosexual pairing was speaking to each other like this, it would be undisputable, undeniable, that that person 
has a crush. But whenever it's gay people, it has to be explicitly said and explicitly spelled out, otherwise people still think that there's room for interpretation, when I, that is the most obvious crush confession since Hosey. I had a crush on you. You had a crush on me? Of course I did. Who wouldn't? Okay, I don't think we should have to say that a character is gay for them to be able to be gay. I think they should just be able to be gay <laughs> to be gay <laughs> because you've never needed a straight person to clarify that they're straight before people interpret the character as straight. You are gay! You showed me things that haven't happened yet. The most awful things. He's just trying to scare you, Nance. Thank you. Like, why, why are we trusting this guy? <laughs> it always chimes four times. For exactly. If that's true, he's only one kill away. I'm only one kill away. I'm sorry. We have to go back in there. Back to the upside down. Whoa, whoa, no, no, nope. no, 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 no. What? Nope. Yeah, immediately no. Immediately no. We don't know when he's going to attack next. We don't even know who he's going to attack. Yeah, we do. I can still feel him. Girl, you better start playing running up that hill again. I survived before. No. I can survive again. And I'll do it again. Ba -ba. I'm a bad bitch, you can't kill me. I'd like to test that theory. She's so stressed. All right, phase one complete. Let's get fuck out of this country. Will you take us to America? Yes or no? <laughs> Of you driving. Oh, I'm starting to suck her. Harrington's got her. Don't you big boy. Robin rolling her eyes. Like, girl, you're gay. You're not gonna drive. I'm in my mum's car. Broom, broom. Get out of my car! Huh. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. I mean, it's not every day you lose your house and car in one fell swoop. Actually. We're not gonna let anything happen to your friends, okay, kiddo? I will personally make sure of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't believe a damn thing that y'all say. Your friends are not prepared for this fight, Eleven. Yeah, obviously, they're kids. To underestimate him, to act rashly, would be very dangerous. She does not care. Those are her friends. You will need to do more than walk. You will need to do more than run. You'll need to fly. Ah, oh, I love whenever I get a line right. Either way, it doesn't matter because this is not our choice. Thank you. And then it is her choice whether she wants to stay or go. Exactly. Mm. But here she is, standing before us, making a choice. I've never loved someone so much in one of these little evil science camps. It's so important because I feel like Elle's not gotten to choose almost anything in her life. Fuck you, dad. How's the handle? Not that bad. Considering that this is a house. I love that they're trying to like lay low so they steal a whole house. I've actually, you know, I always had this dream that I'd have this like this really, really big family. I don't like this! I don't like that he's talking about his future because whenever a character talks about their future, they kick the bucket. <laughs> I figured all of us Harringtons, we would- No. Shut up, Steve. Like this. You don't need to talk about your future because you're gonna live it. <laughs> that sounds nice. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. It's like he only sees the darkness in us. So I'll just run it in the opposite direction. I love this. Find a happy memory and hide there. He's gonna be your happy memory. He's gonna be your happy memory. Was I there? It was right, I was there, I remember it all too well. I'm sorry. It's presumptuous of you. <laughs> but yeah. You said you had a plane. Honestly, a helicopter seems like your best bet, yo. Like, did you really expect a dude to have access to like 12 planes? Katinka also had very beautiful, very round buttocks. Every time Yuri talks, I want to punch him. And when we do get the call, 
Assume the KGB will be on the other line, listening to everything. I'm team helicopter in this situation. Is this her band crush that we haven't heard about in eight episodes? Oh, he has a nice haircut. Is that the g girl from Anne with an E? I'm sorry about Chrissy. Am I the only one that thought there was going to be something between Chrissy and Robin? Like I watched the whole thing play out in my head and then she died 10 minutes later. <laughs> Let's go, lesbians, let's go! Since when did we decide Nina was a physical building and not a small woman? How is he still hot? <laughs> Are you really questioning Susie right now? She's a genius, Jonathan. She's a genius, Jonathan. If that small woman is small enough, she could fit behind a small tree. Hi guys, totally gonna be the one to find it. Nina! 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 I'm Nina Dobrev. Mm -mm. Oh no. You can't leave Eleven. I hate this man. Where's Dr. Owens? Dr. Owens had a change of heart. Yeah, sure. But if my men hear you coming, they will kill him. Bro. I hate this man. Here's what you're gonna do, Eleven. You're gonna take your little powers that you have back and you're gonna snap his little neck and then you're gonna snap every single neck of a military guy that's in there because you know what if they're military men trying to hold a child hostage they're not good people so you can just take them out we will return to hawkins together papa and daughter you are not her father why are you doing this because there's no other choice there is always a choice there's always a choice not tell the truth. Henry said that. And now you trust him. Uh, I would trust literally anyone over you. Henry, who's manipulated you like some puppet. Something, something, pot, cattle. No, you. You have risked everything. You have lied. You made me look for him. And all because of you. Because you could not stop. You could not let him go. Drag him. I came here to see if I, if I was the monster. It is not me. It is you. You are the monster. I'm so proud of her. I'm going to open that door and I'm going to leave. I'm not going to let you get the chance. No! Beat his ass. Is this legal? Never change, Dustin Henderson. What is happening right now? <laughs> How those uh those spears coming off? Look that damn thumb around. <laughs> I still love hope. Mm. It might not work out for us this time. You think we shouldn't be doing this? Probably not. <laughs> but if we don't stop him, who will? We have to try, right? Like something about just a group of kids taking on the end of the world always gets to me. It's like they're the kids are the only ones open minded enough to actually see what's happening and they're the only ones brave enough to actually take it on correctly every time. It's only a precaution. Fuck you. But it was the only one. <sighs> this guy sucks. What's going on? It's Sullivan. They found us. You would think they would have like a flat door, not like a little pop-up that's neon sign screaming, hey, we're in here. And nowhere to run. And this is where the dream team comes in. Not the dickhead, what do you want me to say? Down he goes. Uh, is she never gonna be able to get that collar off now? Wait, 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 I can put her in a, a coma. A medically induced coma. Oh, I'd kill for a good coma right now. Take it. No! Yes! Like, them even entertaining the idea that they could take her on is so funny. 
My girl. Oh my god. Oh man. The love between all of these kids just really gets to me. Hey guys, we gotta go. Uh, you don't say. Where is that the the last the the dude Owen Owens? Oh, if that's supposed to be a redemption arc, I'm not falling for it. Is she gonna put him out of his misery. I want you to know. I'm proud of you. So very proud. You are my family. No. My child. No, she is not. You get your hands off of her. She knows. She knows that that's not love because she's finally had her friends and her family in her life to show her what real love is, and this is not it. Bye, Mama. Amen. I'm so proud of her. They are going to die. Who's gonna die? Elle, who's gonna die? Everyone. Erica is too, like, I know she's the same age that they were at the start of this, but she's so little to be doing all of this. God, the music in this show is just unparalleled. Mm, this is such a good show, guys. Oh, man. Guys, this is such a good show. I love that I've been watching this show since the summer I was going to start college and now I am two years out of college and I'm still just like, like getting to grow with these characters and watch them and be proud of them. It is everything to me and I'm so excited to watch the next episode, so I'm just gonna shut up and let's go. I can't believe I'm about to sit down and watch a two hour and 22 minute long television episode. Honestly, it's tough to get me to sit down and watch movies that long. Get your hands off me, potato head. Excuse me? What do you two lizard brains know? I don't know. Um. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'll go over I, okay. Are y'all gonna kiss at some point? God, he's beat up. Me too, girl, me too. I am also checking him out. What did they do? Oh, she's not thirsting. She's concerned. She looks so little and young. You've been dreaming about breadsticks and lasagna. So I've been dreaming about something else? Please kiss. Please kiss. <laughs> and then there's dessert. I gotta have dessert. Gotta have dessert. And after that? I don't know. Yes, your imagination. I love how they're like grown adults and they're both thinking they're like, haha, and then what? Oh, thank God, thank God, yes! Four, we head into Vecna's hopefully newly bat free. Mm -hmm. Hopefully newly bat free, yeah. Nobody moves on to the next phase until we've mm, copied. That's gonna be, they're gonna move on to the next phase without somebody copying. Calling it now. Wrong. He wanted to do a pod. Robin is such a good addition to this show. God tier edition. Gotcha. Like she has a whole other boyfriend that's not him? Uh uh. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. If things here start to go south, I mean, at um, all. They're gonna go board, south. Okay? Don't try to be cute or. Be a hero or something. We are not heroes. They're gonna be the heroes. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. She can carry me to Vecna. I can piggyback. I know of a magical place that has all you need, my brave little superpowered friend. The Pizza Hut? You gotta be shitting me. Yep. <laughs> now who's this? Oh, great. You know the murder house in Moorhead? Yeah. Literally the lot. Is Vecna gonna end up killing these guys? Wrong. Spent five minutes trying to convince her I was real. I'm supposed to be dead, remember? When I kill someone, they're supposed to stay dead. This is your daughter, American. Mm -hmm. Joyce's kids are with him. We need to consider the very real possibility that this mystery woman is in fact 
KGB. <laughs> so we don't need to get back to Hawkins to fight it. All we need to do is destroy those particles. Oh, y'all are not going back there. Yuri mentioned something about a flamethrower, right? You see this weird girl behind me? Literally a minor and newer divergent. Supposed <laughs> to meet Cass at Taco Bell in like 10, so. I can't go to Taco Bell. I'm on an all carb diet. We're not asking you to help for free. You ever partake in? I love the very realistic touch of every single kid who works at this pizza place is a massive stoner. Are you ready for the most metal concert in the history of the world? Is that a rhetorical question? There's definitely just like some part of these kids' brains that's like, this isn't real to them. Like they're in like, uh, they're in literal Dungeons and Dragons mode as they're doing all of this. They're, it's just, they their mind has to treat it as a game. Uh, don't worry about her, she's just stressed. Yeah, uh, I would be more concerned about her if she wasn't stressed right now. She did tell me that it took her longer to walk than most babies, so. <laughs> I really shouldn't laugh. <laughs> so I reversed my baby butt down a flight of stairs and thumped my head really good. Yeah. Wow, that explains everything so much. <laughs> right out of the gate, like I'm super confident, you know, but I'm also like an idiot. <laughs> just, just, I mean, it's a <laughs> oh, I love his vibes. I swear to God, if they kill him, I'm gonna have a really hard time. Listen, I guess what I'm trying to say in a really stupid roundabout way is, um, Thank you. Oh my god. For forgive him, I had the biggest thump of its life two years ago. <laughs> I really don't like where this is going. I don't like this. Some other girl would give me a proper thump before we met with things have been different. I don't know, part of me thinks that we would have made it. Oh no. Steve. <laughs> I swear to God. Remember the dream I told you about? <laughs> with Winnebago about seeing the country in my six. Oh, oh he has a dream with her. No. Every time someone's like talking about a dream that the, a, a person is in, it reminds me of One Tree Hill when Peyton's like, every night I have this dream where you're asking me and I say yes. It's my dream. Gets me every time. You're there. You've always been there. Please kiss him because he's totally gonna die. <laughs> where are the guards? The Demogorgon killed all of them. That's where all the guards are. Maybe this will be easier than we thought. Huh, yeah, no it won't. I don't know, Jim, I got a bad feeling about this. I don't like this! At least I'll have a flamethrower. Yeah, y'all are screwed. <laughs> Though, admittedly not as screwed as the entire Soviet army, because at least you've sort of faced one of these before, and, and like, lived-ish to tell the tale. Jim, you're Uh, everything, you dumb f this is seriously some of the most insane television I've ever watched. Oh, oh, oh. oh babies! I'm, I'm okay, dog. I'm okay. Oh. He's like, uh, if we live. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. They're so cute. They're so cute, yes they are, just like you. They really found such a good song to be like the theme song of season four. Can you stop staring at me? It's making me uncomfortable. I feel like the, the use of the blue light feels like very new. They're very trying to set a new mood. What are you waiting for, huh? I feel like he knows he's being baited, right? You're giggling because I look awesome. I can't see it, but I know you're smiling. I just, I know I look so good, right? They're cute. Yeah. I missed you. I want that pizza light in the back. Try it. Try no, I obviously didn't try. Stop. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, Will. If this ends up with Will sacrificing himself after everything he's been through, I'm punching something. You guys have a really cute talk. I miss talking to you. I don't want you to forget that I'm here. And I'll always be here. No matter what. Like, I'm... 
It, I just feel that someone's dying in this episode. They've confirmed that someone's dying in this episode, right? And so I'm like over analyzing every single interaction. I'm like, this seems like a character gonna die interaction. And, and I'm always here for you too. Well. What the hell? What's going on? He's not taking it's Max. Not I know you can hear me. I know you can read my thoughts, even the worst ones. Is she gonna have to think about her bad memories to get Vecna to come take her? Sometimes. I would lie in bed at night. I would, I would pray that something would happen to him. I still can't get, like, God, Dear Billy was such a good episode. I wanted him out of life. And girl, I don't blame you for one second. I think that's why I just stood there. I didn't know if you deserved to be saved. Somewhere along the way, you decided that I was worth saving. I'm literally incapable of not thinking about the Vampire Diaries. I'm so sorry. Now when I lie in bed at night, I pray that something will happen to me. Yeah. Now that's why I'm here. I just want you to take me away. He's not taking her because she wants him to take her. You wanted Billy to die. Why are you talking? He's Vecna. Normal people don't fantasize about killing other people, Max. This isn't Lucas. You're sick. This can't be Lucas. You will be the chosen one. The fourth. Yeah, the okay, thank sacrifice. God. Thank God. Max, I thought you said you were ready. Ready, ready to disappear. I lied. I'm coming to salt on a little longer. Like, I don't know if I'm necessarily underrated because I do think a lot of people talk about it, but I feel like they have the most underrated friendship on the show. God, they're so little. I am in a memory. A Max memory. <sighs> it has to be here. I was all seeing it from her point of view. Move on to phase three. Copy that. Initiating phase three. I don't even understand how the radio reaches the upside down fully. I mean, not like it's real science. Percy, this is from you. Oh, come on. This is so not the time. This music feels kind of like goofy almost for this scene. Let me, Let me in. I'll be the eye. Did you watch? I'm <sighs> it's freaking bats. I've got to lock down in T minus 30 seconds. I think I have a stress rash right now. <laughs> So you have to like get too into his guitar solo and not be ready to lock down because that's going to be so irritating. She did it. We did it. We did it, Joe. I cannot believe they went back here. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen someone do in my entire life. Oh dear God. Yeah. Oh, it's not even the Demogorgon. It's the, the, the particles. Unidentified particles. How are you going to flamethrow it? Dust. The particles. Ask him about the particles. He says they call it the shadow. The shadow went into them. Great. The shadow is in them. Cool. Huh. Oh, yeah. Didn't think of that possibility, did you? Why don't we just have Robin stay outside? <laughs> oh my God, are they holding hands? Are they holding hands? <gasps> <laughs> Gay. Yeah, no shit, honey. Should you bag your face? Tiny Max. I found her. But so she's not in the right memory. No, everything is normal. No, it's not. I think it is another memory. A memory. <laughs> Again, they just, they do music so well in this show. I feel like there could be academic articles written about the usage of music in this show if there hasn't been already. All right, come on, Elle. You can find her. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it again. I'm not gonna say it again. I'm alone and blue as can be. Dream a little dream of me. The Dementors are coming. Come on, Max. You can do it. I have faith in you. Twelve seconds later. Oh, find her. We need to find her now. I understand why this show has such a high budget. Hmm. Can't be here right now, man. Bro, this is such a bad time. Back up! 
Bro. I'm gonna back away to the top of the stairs there. And I'll watch as you wake her up from whatever the hell this is. Oh, great. Yeah, he literally cannot do that, so. If I wake her too soon, we all die. You don't wake her up right now. You die, Sinclair. What about you? Is he gonna be bait? I'm the bait. Ugh. I'm gonna die someday. But not today. Bro, I, you better not die. He can't die after all of this. God, I love them so much. Like I, nothing, I, season five, everything's gonna go well in this episode and season five is just gonna be all of these people living their happy little fun lives. They're on the roof. They can't get in through there, can they? I think these weird freaky bat dudes can kind of do whatever the hell they want. <laughs> Like, Robin really should have stayed outside. I love you, girl, but you should have stayed outside. And in an insanely shocking turn of events, everything about this plan starts to go wrong. Uh. Uh. This is stress. That's a problem. Let's go! Let's go! Um, what if all of those bats come through the gate. Eddie, come on! Let's go! Eddie, so close! Eddie, let's go! Eddie, what are you doing? What is he doing? Buy more time. No. He's gonna live. He's gonna live. God, that is so cool. The, vol mm, the balloon arch, the stained glass door. I'd love to see the like set design drawings for when they're pitching this stuff. You thought Wait, is he making her see all of this right now? It's time. Where is L? If if Christy wanted help, she would have come to me. Not Dude, him. do you see yourself? I would not trust you to hold my drink if you were the last person at the party with open hands. <laughs> Why did the dog start barking right when there was a gunshot? <laughs> No, not the Walkman. <laughs> but in the end, you are weak. So weak. And you will break. And you will lose everything. Why would you go back in there? I just ran and I left her there. We are not heroes. Yes, you are. <laughs> this is so insane. Like, there's so much happening right now. <laughs> I'm real. How? I piggybacked from a pizza dough freezer. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Hey, it's okay. Stay back. Like hell, Max is gonna stay back. If you touch her again, I will kill you again. I'm yeah. okay. Literally gonna get violent. This is going to be beautiful. Oh, he's like, this is gonna be beautiful. It is, it's beautiful television. This is also gonna be a mess. So beautiful. Yay! Like how Max is gonna stay back. God damn. How do you knock someone out inside their own mind? Daddy, this is so bad. Is that Chrissy? Mm. Not Max. <sighs> All right, how are we gonna get out of this one? <laughs> chop, chop. Let's figure it out. Papa is dead. <laughs> Daddy, she's <laughs> he 
He's the monster, Henry. Not you. He's like, why not both? Why can't we both be the monster? But he was no monster. He was just a man. Isn't that the worst monster of them all? He did not make me into this. You did. You did. I believed you had sent me to my death. To purgatory. I was somewhere new. She made a whole dimension! An explorer of a realm unspoiled by mankind. This is insane. Imagine you're a little child and you're drawing this thing that you're imagining and then someday as an adult you get yeeted into this other dimension and there is the thing. I saw it. Your power. It is over eleven. Your friends have lost. No, they haven't. There is nothing, nothing you can do to stop this now. There's always a way. Mm, mm. Okay, guess he's not surviving. And remake it into something beautiful. So is his goal to just like turn it into a spider world? I don't like fully get that. There's still the parents fighting the dust. That can pull through, right? That can do something? Or is this like just all Max's nightmare? It will all be over soon. There's no way. No. 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 There's no way. There's no way Max dies. Mike, don't stop. Okay, you're the heart. Okay, remember that. I love you. I don't know how to live without you. I feel like my life started that day we found you in the woods. There's so little. I love you on your good days. I love you on your bad days. I love you with your powers. I love you without your powers. I love you for exactly who you are. Well, just watching all of this. Elle, do you hear me? You need to fight. That's it, Elle. Fight out. She's not gonna leave there without Max, though. She's not gonna wake up. No, 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 no. Mm -mm, not this fucker. Where is the flamethrower? Hello. There we go. Like, why do I feel kind of bad for them? Like, they're just little things that didn't ask to exist. I don't believe in a higher power or a divine intervention. But that was a miracle. Was that because of Al or because of the parents? God, he looks really good. Bro, what are you doing? Are we out of fire? Is she gonna have to, like, go dark to beat him? And, like, do to him what? He's done to everyone else. You have already lost. You've lost, old man. Did he want this for some reason? Was this the end goal for him? Like, does he want to be released from his body or something? I feel like he wanted this. I don't know. What happens when the mind palace that you're in dissipates while you're in it? He wanted this. Running up that road, running up that hill, be running up that building. Such a good song and the way they're remixing it. Imagine you meet your downfall and it's this girl with a shotgun. That's nasty, I guarantee you. I will not be showing that on screen. That was cheesy. Like, I wasn't easy at all, but that was too easy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, time to get back to the United States. Like eight hours ago. I'm, I'm not breathing easy yet. Not in the slightest. Mm-hmm. Body's not there. That is dead. No, 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 you're gonna be fine. Yeah, gonna be yeah. Okay. Yeah, the hospital in the um, hell dimension. I didn't run away this time, right? You're gonna have to look after those little sheep for me, okay? I love you, man. I feel like I should have known that the like big death was gonna be the person that they introduced at the start of the season. We need a doctor. Call an ambulance. With what phone? I, I can't be No. She can she cannot die. I don't wanna die, I'm not ready. You're not gonna die, please just hang on. I don't wanna go on the way to watch. You're not gonna die, just like stay with me. Come on, Max. Look at me, Max. Max, look, look. Stay with me, Max. 
Penguin, Penguin. Now we're gonna help. Thanks. There's no way. No, 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 no. Max, Max, please stay with me. And the Emmy goes to. <laughs> There's no way. Oh no, his gate's open. Four times. Max. Mm. Mm. That's bad. <laughs> that is bad. You're not going. Is she gonna s sacrifice herself somehow? See? What did I tell you? There's more to life than stupid boys. Like, I, oh, is she imbuing her with like the life force of their happy memories? Mm. Flash forward. Okay. Every time the screen goes black, I'm like, this better not be the end. This better not be the end. The whole town evacuating. A natural disaster of near unprecedented scale. Like, if this is near unprecedented, what's a real unprecedented? Eddie Munson, the leader of this cult and prime suspect in the murders. Good lord. It's the news. Now indistinguishable from the tabloids. Uh -huh. About to have some stancy pain. Where's Lucas? He's at the hospital. He's with Max. She'll be fine. She's literally fine. She's fine. She's fine. Do they know when she'll wake? Oh my god, is she, is she like trapped in some hell place in her mind right now? Is there anything else that we can do to help? And I just saw their whole relationship play out before my eyes, just from the eye contact. Oh. Of course, uh, I I am also making PBJs as it so happens. <laughs> what are you doing here? I didn't mean it like what are you doing here. I just meant like oh, what are you doing here? Like wow, nice surprise. I love nice gay TV. panic. He is the type of person who trashes fast times because it has no plot. I mean, as soon as he said that, I should have just ended things right there. And, and and I have just made a peanut butter peanut butter monstrosity. Oh, you really should. Oh, but I did. Oh, but I did. I love Steve and Robin. So much. Mr. Munson? Oh. My nephew is innocent. I know. Please tell him you know that he was innocent. Like, he needs to hear that more than anything in the world right now. He could have run. He could have saved himself. But he fought. Mr. Munson, he's... He's a hero. He's a hero. <laughs> Holy shit. This place is a total disaster. And voila, cleaning supplies. Where Hopper and Joyce better be getting home any second now. He's actually grown up quite a bit, you know? Mm. Yeah. Mm. The concern. Are we okay? Yeah. Uh, uh, so convincing. You think it's uh, too late to throw saving the world on your college resume? Why does this whole scene feel so familiar? Let's hope one is dead and rotting. He's not. Yeah, that's not the case. We have to kill him. And we will. Daddy's home. <coughs> There's no one home inside her mind. Has to be Hopper. This could not be the feds. No government must be Hopper. a break. He needs to go back to California. Mom, it's Maybe that's Ash. Looks like that like field in Howl's Moving Castle. Well that's bad. There's something about Elle standing alone on the dead flowers with everyone else standing behind her on the live flowers and the other two sets of people are couple and then Mike and Will are standing next to each other. All right, y'all. I'm gonna make this quick because I have no light left. Weirdly, I liked the um, season four, chapter seven 
better as like a finale even though that was like the mid-season I don't even know what you call that the mid-season finale it was just so intense and the whole time I was watching that reveal I was like god damn is this good television versus this is more just like setting up I guess for season five um I like that they like lost sort of they like Will said or Mike which one was it? Eleven's never lost before. Like they've always come out on top and this time they didn't, they didn't beat the bad guy and now they have to try again. And I'm very curious to see if this will have some sort of happy ending or how they're gonna wrap this up. Man, that was a good season. I really thought it was gonna go either way cause I didn't love season two, but season three was insanely good. And I thought overall that was a pretty solid season. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on it in the comments below. Uh, stay tuned. I have reactions to the first season of First Kill on Netflix coming soon as well. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!